Righty, yeah, now here are the two formulas for sine a plus b and sine a minus b. Let's add those equations together. Let's do 1 plus 2. So 1 plus 2, we get sine a plus b plus sine a minus b. They're the same, so we've got two of those. And they're the same, but with a different sign. So they, uh, when you add those up, that becomes zero. So let's have a look at, uh, we've now got a different sort of equation. Instead of writing a plus b, I'm going to write p. And instead of writing a minus b, I'm going to write q. Now let's add those equations together. Let's add this to this. So I'm going to get uh, 2a, and b minus b is naught, equals p plus q. In other words, a equals p plus q over 2. Now let's subtract these equations. a minus a is nothing. b take away minus b is 2b. So that's p minus q. In other words, b equals p minus q over 2. Let's put all these back into this equation here. So it's sine of a plus b, that's sine p, plus sine of a minus b, a minus b is q, equals 2 sine a, or what's a? We saw it's p plus q over 2. multiplied by the cosine of b, which is p minus q over 2. And this is the first of the factor formulae. Now a similar result gets us the formula for sine p minus sine q. If we could do a similar sort of proof, uh, these are in fact equivalent. The formulas are always true. So we've got 2 cos p plus q over 2 sine p minus q over 2. And then similar proofs give us the ones for cos p and cos q. So, so I get, do this right, there we go. Cos p plus cos q works out to be 2 cos p plus q over 2 cos p minus q over 2. And then a similar thing for cos p minus cos q is minus 2 sine p plus q over 2 sine p minus p, uh, p minus q over 2. So this one's a bit pesky, it's got a minus sign in, the other ones haven't. And again, these are all equivalent. So these are the factor formulae.